And wellity, wellity, wellbury. In the light world jail, we got arrested, and we found out there's an alien embryo inside of our head. All very good. Uh, game. There we go. I'm gonna say mouse didn't want to work there. Anyway, now we go to bed and begin the third and final day. Let's see what dream we get now. Oh, this one of those baby head drill things that we saw in the dark world. I wonder what's showing us that. Oh my god, they're drilling Mike Dawson's head, and is now a Terminator, and now he's a skull. Ah. What can we possibly do to prevent this? Probably not a lot. Anyway, this is the final day. Both my headache and these nightmares are getting... Yep, because if we don't get the things done today, then we end up dying. And that's no good for anyone, so we need to get everything done before midnight today. Which we will do, because I am Grandmaster Scott Hay, and I am awesome. And my awesomeness offsets Mike Dawson's... Mike dawson -y -ous. So take our morning pills, and then head downstairs. Let's go downstairs. Because now we need to go to the library. Because as you saw there, we have microfilm. Which we need to use in the librarical part of the library, I guess. I don't know. It's, we need to do something. Shut up. Anyway, let's go down to the library again. I need to stop saying library. Oh, before we do so, we need to go to Clug's Food Market. Nearly forgot about this. Because he, he has another bottle of scotch that we need to go and buy for. Well, we don't need to buy it for anyone. We need to buy it from Edgar Allan Poe again. Take that. Let me guess, Delbert's going to be mad. Nope. Well, we just hand, handed over more of our money. And now we've got some scotch. So, at the very least, we can kill the alien with alcohol poisoning. Okay, past the barber that we still can't get into. And he's been cutting that man's hair for three days. Jeez, let him go. <laughs> I think you got him. Anyway, we need to go in this room now. Because... This dark room looks like it is seldom used. Maybe this is a dark room nowadays, anyway. Anyway, we need to turn on the dark the dark thing reader, and then use this microfilm. Better homes and cellars. Not to be confused with his brother, Ash. Haha, <laughs> Pokemon reference. Anyway, that's all we need to do in the library. Because now we head back to our house, and we're going to have a look in that cellar, because obviously it wouldn't just tell us about home security in the cellar, if there wasn't anything in the cellar. Can't think of much to say, because I've said everything I need to know about this game. suppose I could talk about the company a little. Cyber Dreams! Didn't last very long, and it didn't do very much in terms of games. There's some very, very good games, I'll give them that. I mean, they did Dark Seed, which is average. They did the excellent, um, which I call it I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream, which is one of my personal favourites, and I might get round to doing that sometime. But then again, they also made Dark Seed 2. We don't need to get into Dark Seed 2. I better not eat anything. Disinfected it. Very good to know. Yeah, we don't need to eat, because Mike Dawson does not eat. Ooh, the doorbell. We need to get that quickly, because this is a very important doorbell. Because this gives us one last plot critical item. Again, if you don't get the item, you lose the game. This game does like to put you in permanent, you know, these unescapable death situations if you don't. Do everything in the right way. Yes, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hello, Mr. Delivery Man. We got us. No idea why we have a stick. Let's, anyway, let's have a look at it. Come on, what's the stick look like? An axe handle. Why on earth do we need an axe handle? And I just hiccup there. Damn lemonade. Anyway, so we need to go back down to the cellar because, like that post thing on the microfilm said, there is a rock. We pick up the loose rock. 
which is in, in itself a very useful item. Dig around and find nothing. Dig around and find nothing. There's got to be something in there. There's a set of keys. Yeah, told you. Yeah, I get the keys. Very, very, nothing gets past you, Mike, does it? Anyway, those are the car keys. And they are very, very important because, once again, don't have them. Can't beat the game. Anyway, we need to go back upstairs because now, if I am right, there is a policeman in front of our door. Now, if we talk to the police, we ain't got to get out of jail free card and we ain't got a bobby pin, so we ain't getting out of that jail. So up we go, up the ladder. Do to do to do to do to do to do. Past all of the meaningless rubbish we got lying around here, and down the rope. So, as you might notice, we have car keys and f and bottle of scotch. This is very important because we need to use the scotch on the petrol cap. Because as you might remember. The old man said that the car is directly linked to the spaceship in the Dark World that we saw. So if we start up the car, we can start up the ship. Anything to say? Bit late for that, lass. Um, anyway, we use these keys and... The motor starts. And the motor has started. And the battery still works. Turn off the car and take the keys back. And anyway, I put it back in. Put it back in. Okay, so we've done that. So the ship now works again. And now we head for our final excursion into the Dark World. Up, 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 up. Because now this is where we stop the Dark World from Dark Worlding itself. Come on, go down. Do, do. I know I'm humming tombs a lot, but honestly, how exciting can I make walking down creaky stairs? Oops, past the hour. And into the dark world we go! Dink! So now, they told us to steal the energy source from the call it the alien... like the alien world. It just told us to steal the power, which is what we're going to do with the items in our inventory. But how? How can we do that? In a state of suspended animation, the ancients wait patiently for their evil plan to unfold. It won't be long now, so these are the ancients. Pretty freaky looking guys, aren't they? Yeah, anyway, we're going here. And it says pulsing brain on the wall. Also, look, there's a triangle, and there's a triangle. Anyway, anyway, what we need to do is we need to put this brick in here. The stone seems energized and warm to the touch. And now we got an energized stone. How cool! And now, if I'm right, actually, I'm going to save it just in case I'm not. Just in car, just in car. If I'm right, we combine the stone with the um, the loose the thing of me the the stone with the axe handle, and we make a hammer. Not just any hammer, a glowing hammer. We have made Mjolnir or Mjolnir, Mjol Mjol something force hammer. Yaha! Because now we have an energy hammer, and we are going to use it for energy-based purposes. This large room looks like a control center. Ooh. And I spy another lever on the wall. So, take our gloves. Pull the lever. You have just engaged the main engine startup sequence. Yes, we have. So, we should probably get out. <laughs> and if I'm right, please tell me we've done everything right. We walk away from the ship very casually. And now the ancient ship leaves, which... Doesn't that mean that technically we've just now had a car just fly up through our garage? And is now flying through the air in the space? Anyway, we're out of the dark world now, but we're not done yet. There's a reason why we made that glowing hammer. 
we gotta take it. And we gotta use it. Yeah. And that is the end of the game, if I'm correct. I'm not really sure why I'm here, but I just felt drawn to you. No. I know it sounds strange, but what's even more strange is that I found these pills in my purse. That might be explaining why you're attracted to Mike Dawson. Your name for relief of severe headaches. Severe head? Ooh, I saw that flash. No, no, you're not. And Mike, who, if played by a different actor and not actually done by the real Mike Dawson, but. We are not done yet with the game because I know that you are interested in what happens if we don't get the alien out of Mike Dawson's head. So I am going to show that to you as a little bonus extra ending. Okay, we've seen that. Go on, hurry up. Splitting headache joke, ha ha ha. That sure was some nightmare. And now, thanks to the power of time skip. Time 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 time. And now he goes back into bed. Oh, shut up, Mike. Okay, so now on to day two. Nobody cares about looking at freaky... Nope, you're just gonna play the scene, are you? I'm telling you that, Alien has glasses on. Do, 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 do. And... Time skip again. And back to bed. And on to the final day. And my need is cricked, and that was pretty painful. Do, do, do. Can we skip this? No, we cannot. Well, we get to see the melting head again, that's pretty cool, I guess. And now on to the final day, but we're going to assume that Mike Dawson has a, has a chronic sleeping problem, and has slept through the entire game, so let's see what happens if we have final sleep. So skip, skip, skip. Time has run out. The alien embryo implanted in your brain is released. You die. <gasps> Earth. And Mike Dawson just collapses on the floor. <laughs> and we get to see what the alien looks like. Blah. He just puked up a xenomorph. And apparently that thing was going to conquer the Earth. Alrighty, I'll take your word for it. Anyway, I think that's a good place to end. So, I have been Grandmaster Scott Hay. This has been Darkseed. That woman was weird, freaky, snake, HR Geiger woman. And he was Mike Dawson. And I thank you so very, very much for watching.